In this lesson, you will modify the settings that control your local Revit MEP working environment. These settings control the graphics, selection default options, notification preferences, journal cleanup options, and your username when using work sharing. Let's look at graphics settings. Click the menu browser and select options. And in the options dialog, click the graphics tab. Then under colors, click invert background color and click OK. Then click the menu browser and move to new and select Project to open a new project. In the New Project dialog, under Template File, click Browse. And in the Choose Template dialog, select Default and click Open. Then, back in the New Project dialog, make sure that Project is selected under Create New and click OK. Notice that the drawing area is now black. Click the menu browser and select Options. In the Options dialog, click the Graphics tab and under Colors, click the value for Selection Color. In the Color dialog, select Yellow and click OK. Note that you can also specify alert color. When an error occurs, the elements using the error display using this color. Click the General tab and under Notifications for Save Reminder Interval, select 1 hour and for Tooltip Assistance, select None, then click OK. Next, from the ribbon bar, click the Architect tab, and from the Build panel, click the Wall drop-down and select Wall. Then, sketch a straight horizontal wall in the center of the drawing area by clicking two points. Then press escape twice to end the command and select the wall. When you do, notice that the selected wall is yellow rather than the default red. Press escape to clear the selection and place the cursor over the wall but do not select it. Notice that a tooltip is not displayed. However, the lower corner of the window, which is the status bar, displays information about the highlighted element. Let's review the changes we've made and change them back. Click the menu browser and select Options. And on the General tab, Change the Save Reminder Interval back to 30 minutes and the Tooltip Assistance back to Normal. And on the Graphics tab, clear the Invert Background Color checkbox and click the Selection Color value and select Red and click OK to close all dialog boxes. Then close the project file without saving changes to the drawing, as that concludes this lesson. In this lesson, you'll specify default file locations. These settings control locations of important Revit MEP files, including your default project template, family template files, and family libraries. Let's set file locations. Click the menu browser and select Options. 
and in the Options dialog, click the File Locations tab. Then, under Default Template File, click Browse. Notice that you can choose an industry-specific template as your default template. To view a template, you can start a new project with that template. To do that, you would click the menu browser, go to New Project, and then click Browse to select the template. Click Cancel, and under Default Path for User Files, click Browse. This is where you'd select the folder to save your files to by default. Click Cancel. And for default path for family template files, click Browse. This path is set automatically during the installation process. These are the family templates that you use to create new families. It is unlikely that you would ever want to modify this path. However, there are some circumstances where you may need to modify the path, such as in a large centralized MEP firm where customized templates reside on a network drive. Click Cancel and click Places. This list is dependent on the options you selected during installation. Each library path points Revit MEP to a folder of families. You can modify the existing library names and path and you can create new libraries. An icon for each library displays in the left side of all Revit MEP Open, Save, Load, and Import dialogs. When you are opening, saving, or loading a Revit MEP file, you can click on the library folder located on the left side of the dialog. In the Places dialog, Click Add Value. Then click in the Library Name field of the new library and change the name to My Library. Then click inside the Library Path field for My Library and then click Browse. In the Browse for Folder dialog, go to the C drive and create a new folder called My Revit MEP Documents. Then open that folder, which would be a folder similar to where you want to create a personal library of Revit MEP projects, templates, or families. Then click Open. Back in the Places dialog, Click OK twice, and click the menu browser, and select Open. From the left side of the Open dialog, select the new My Library icon. When you do, notice that Revit MEP navigates directly to the library path. If you work in a large office, you may want to set up an office library on a network path to increase productivity and maintain office standards. Click Cancel and click the menu browser and select Options. Then on the File Locations tab, click Places and select My Library and click Remove Value. Then click OK. Back on the Options dialog, click the Rendering tab. And under Render Appearance Library Location, notice the current path. This path specifies the location of the Render Appearance Library. This path is determined during installation. If you want to relocate this path, you'd specify the new location here. Under Additional Render Appearance Paths, 
you would specify the locations of other files used to define render appearances, such as bump maps, custom color files, and decal images. Click OK, as that concludes this lesson. In this lesson, you will modify the spelling settings and the custom dictionaries for Revit MEP. Let's modify spelling settings. Click the menu browser and select Options. In the Options dialog, click the Spelling tab and under Settings, select Ignore Words in Uppercase. Then under Additional Dictionaries, for Personal Dictionary Contains Words Added During Spell Check, click Edit. When you do, the Custom Dictionary opens in your default text editor. In the text editor, enter sheet mtl cu. Then click the file menu and select save. And then click the file menu again and select exit. Back in the options dialog, under building industry dictionary, Click Edit. In the text editor, scroll down to view the list of building industry terms. And when you're finished, click the File menu and select Exit. Then, back in the Options dialog, click OK. Next, Create a new project using the default template. Then, in the new project, click the Annotate tab. And from the Text panel, click Text. Then, click in the drawing area and type This is Sheet MTL dash CU and caps SHTMTL dash CU. Then click Modify. Then on the Annotate tab from the text panel, click Spelling. Spell check is complete. Notice that the spell checker allowed sheet mtl.cu because you added it to the custom dictionary. It also allowed sht mtl-cu because you set spelling options to ignore words in uppercase. In the spelling dialog, click close. Then click the menu browser and select options. And in the options dialog, click the spelling tab. Then, under Settings, click Restore Defaults. This command resets the spelling settings to their original configuration. Under Personal Dictionary, click Edit. And when the custom dictionary opens in your default text editor, delete Sheet Metal CU. Then, save the file and exit the text editor. Then, back in the Options dialog, click OK. And then, close the file without saving it, as that concludes this lesson. In this lesson, you will modify snap settings. Snap settings are system settings that are applied to all projects and not saved within a project file. Let's modify snap increments. Start a new project using the default template. Then click the Manage tab and from the Project Settings panel, click the Settings drop-down and select 
snaps. Notice that you can modify both length and angular snap increments. As you zoom in and out within a view, Revit MEP uses the largest increment that represents less than 2 millimeters in the drawing area. You can add an increment by entering the value with a semicolon after it. Click inside the length dimension snap increments box following the value 4 feet semicolon and enter 1 space semicolon space. Under object snaps, notice the two letter acronyms next to each snap option. You can use these shortcut keys at any time when working on the design. For example, if you want to snap an object to a wall midpoint, you'd enter SM and only midpoint snaps are recognized until you commit an action. After you click to place the object at the midpoint, snapping reverts to the system default settings. Click OK to close snaps. Then click the Architect tab and from the Build panel, click the Wall drop-down and select Wall. On the Options bar, clear Chain and click in the center of the drawing area and move the cursor to the right. Notice that the listening dimension snaps at 4 feet increments. If it does not, zoom out until it does so. A listening dimension refers to the dimension that displays while you are sketching. This dimension reacts to the movement of the cursor and numerical keyboard entries. While still sketching the wall, enter the shortcut key SO to turn snaps off. Notice that when snapping is turned off, the listening dimension reflects the exact length of the wall as you move the cursor left or right. Click to set the wall endpoint. Notice now that snapping is once again active. When you use shortcut keys to control snapping, the command is only active for one click of the mouse. Notice also that as you move your cursor along the wall, it snaps to various points on the wall, such as the endpoints, the midpoint, and the wall edges. Enter the two shortcut keys SM. This is a snap shortcut key that restricts all snapping to midpoints. Notice now that when you move the cursor along the wall, the cursor now snaps only to the midpoint of the wall. Click Modify and then go back to the Manage tab and from the Project Settings panel, click the Settings drop-down and select Snaps. In the Snaps dialog, delete the value 1 and the semicolon and click OK and close the file without saving it as that concludes this lesson.